Hi guys, it's Daisy here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I make slime. I know it's very popular, but today I'm going to show how most people can make it on a very, very cheap budget. This is the slime you're going to be making. I customised it to be purple with pink and silver as well as blue glitter. I haven't got any clay, nor any instant snow, but you can customise it to whatever you want. So the things that you'll need will be a bowl, a bowl big enough for the amount of slime that you want to make. You're then going to need a stirrer. I have this old pen that was broken and of course you can see how I made the last one. <laughs> so you're going to need a stirrer. Of course you're going to need some glue. It doesn't matter which one. But, I prefer white glue for it's a more sensible base. Then you're going to need some contact solution. I got the one Optrex from Tesco's. Not sponsors, by the way. And the ingredients, you mainly want boric acid in it. What I have is I have a boric acid and glycerin. Which isn't the perfect base, but at least it keeps it, how do I say it, thick. Next, you've got shaving cream. And I know most of the gurus of slime would say, Would you need a perfect activator, one with borax, or with baking soda and contact solution? But you don't actually always have that. But I know if you have dads, and if not, just go to the store and buy some. This shaving cream was 99p and this activates the slime properly. And then from the finished touch, I like to add lotion. This is a very dirty bottle of Bayless and Harding, but it works. What this does is it makes it clicky and stretch. Also, you're gonna need a container an airtight container that you can store your slime in so it doesn't get dry. Now, let's get making. Okay, so you're gonna need your bowl and your glue. I'm just gonna be using a little bit for, I just want a little slime. So you need to pour in the amount of glue as you want to slime. This is what mine looks like. You can't really see it for its white. Now, but I'm going to add your lotion. So just a bit of it will do. Um, and as I said before, this makes it clicky and more stretchy. Now I've got to stir it up. Make sure to get most of it off the sides. And now you get your contact solution. You're not meant to put that much, but if you do mess up, just add some more glue. So 
So, what I'm going to be making is phloem. Of course, for most of the people that always browse slime videos, is you need foam balls. Obviously, you don't need to go out to the store and buy some foam balls. Unless you don't have a um, bean bag. What I just showed you, for you don't need foam bees to make a proper slime. But for me, and the easiest recipe that I used, you did need all of these stuff. Once you've done doing that, you can add in your shaving foam. And shake it up a little bit, and just add it bit by bit. It's forming! At this stage, when it's starting to pull away, well, when it's thick, you know you need to add your second batch. But remember, not too much. Because you can add more, but you can't take away, you know what I mean? So right now, I need to add a bit more because it's still a little bit sticky. But you can see that it's pulling away a bit more. It's a little bit sticky, but you can still see that it's pulling away a bit more, isn't it? So, you get your shaving cream. Add in a bit more. And stir. This is how it should look. When it starts to pull away like this, away from the bowl, it's time for you to knead. Right now, it's more like shaving cream, so we need to add some more glue. But of course, you need to add it little by little. And if you don't, it can all go poop. So right now, I have to go very, very, very careful when I'm doing this. For the glue can ruin everything. It can make it rubbery, maybe. It could be, maybe melt it, but it could be very possible. Or, you can just make it a little bit sticky. Of course, comb with your hands every now and then. And if it feels like shaving foam, then you know that you haven't added enough. Yeah? So I just had to add just a little bit more and then if it does get any more stickier just add maybe a little puff of the foam and if that doesn't work then add this and remember I'm not sponsored also most slime people or any people that normally watch slime videos would know that this can be a recipe for fluffy slime. Meaning you have a slime and you add shaving cream to it. Or you wet and down instant snow to make fluffy slime. And yes, they are correct. This does make fluffy slime. But it also makes normal slime. And remember, just add a little bit because if you add too much contact solution, it can ruin your game. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not at all the best with slime. I only started a few months ago. So, I really, I only basically know this recipe. 
I'm more of a pony person than slime, but it's good to have a stress relieving every now and then. I know that this is my first ever DIY tutorial and never me what some people say showing off but more entertainment well it's good to try something new and I hope you do think this as well hold up I want you to click that subscribe button in five four three two one done did you do it comment Hashtag riding squad if you did. Anyway, back to the slime. So you can see it's really getting better. Meaning it's coming off, but it's still going onto the fingers. So you're gonna need more shaving cream. Remember when I said I was doing a small batch? Well, Look at this! It's nearly halfway up the bowl! Mental, isn't it? Also, the main goal of this is, is to, never give, to up. never give up. What most people do is that they give up and they don't get anything out of it. But when they keep on going and keep on persevering, then you get what you want. I don't want no copyright use, copyright, copyright. Oh, my hand's burning. I the birds are going to make me get copyright. It's so beautiful, dude. Way too sticky. Right now, I've made a big batch of slime when I wanted it to be tiny. Hey, hey, more for me. So guys, I'm really bummed for the next video. And I might need your advice for stuff. But if you share it enough, 
and it gets over 1,000 views, then I will do the highly requested thing on the comments. Not to mention that I'll be looking through all your comments and liking them. Get it out of there. Get it out of there. No. Then Charlie came. Hi, Charlie. Hello. So Charlie's a little black cat that you saw earlier. She's a cutest little bubba over here. Yes, you are. You're so cute. You're adorable. Anyway, so just add the phone bees in gradually. No bobs. You're all right. Charlie. Come here. Come to the camera. You want to come to the camera? You want to come to the camera? Mm. So as I was saying, you just need to add it in gradually. I'm not going to add a full flame that you can mould. I'm just going to add some texture. A bit of crunch to it, but a soft crunch. It's like milk. Of course, I'm not gonna dye mine because, well, or I any food coloring, because I want it to be like a cloud. Almost, or like rotten milk. <laughs> or maybe cottage cheese. No, I just wanted it to be white. And as I nearly forgot to say, shaving foam inflates your slime. So as you keep on playing with it, it inflates. So that's how I make slime. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how I make slime. Hope you get out of the horses. Bye!